Welcome to this DaVinci Resolve Fusion Node Breakdown. Today's node is the S Duplicate node. So we're going to jump into Fusion, but before we get into the Duplicate node, um, I kind of wanted to show you something from yesterday's node, the S Outline. And I know I've gone through issues trying to figure this out, so I just wanted to show you this real quick. So let's say we have two shapes. Um, we've got this ellipse, and uh, let's just copy this. Paste it and uh, let's bring in a Boolean node. And uh, we want to combine these two shapes to uh, kind of make something interesting. So we're going to bring this in, bring this in, and bring this in. We're going to take this shape and we're going to move it over and let's uh, resize it. Let's, something like that. And then let's go to our Boolean and we're just going to say Union. So we covered the outline node. So you would think if we uh, brought in, say, another, some outlines for these shapes, we'd be able to use the same Boolean and it would uh, work. So let's go ahead and copy this Boolean. Let's get an S outline. And we're going to pump that in to our S outline. Bring that in. We're going to copy our outline and put it into our other shape and we're going to bring that in and if we look at our little boolean for our outlines now we want to combine it like we did our shape so we just have the entire outline of everything if we go through our operations you can see we're getting absolutely nothing we can use so this is not how you would actually do this little operation here. What you would want to do is we're going to go straight from our original Boolean shape here that we've got. And we're going to go from our out to our one outline and our out to our other outline. Now, if we go to our Boolean node and we say union, now we've got them both together. So that's how you would create an outline of your shape is going from the actual Boolean shape into outlines back into a Boolean to bring them together. So that's how that works. So now we could take a, say a merge node. S merge. Sorry, I got my keyboard on my lap today. It's a little difficult to uh, type in my current setup and we're going to bring this to the background and we're going to bring our outline booleans to the foreground and go to our render node. And uh, if we go to our original one, change our style color up to purple. Now you can see we've got our shape with a separate outline and uh, we can control these outlines independently. So we can change the thickness. We can even change the length change the position to do some different stuff but mind you if you want both of those shapes to work you're going to have to go to this outline as well change the length and change that position so they match up let's reset our little outlines and let's jump into the duplicate node and uh, let's go ahead and use this shape we already made for our duplicates so let's go ahead and add an S transform. And I'm just going to transform the size of our overall shape down. So it's a little smaller. So we'll say uh, 0.25 and 0.25. So there we go. We've got a little shape. And we're going to bring in a duplicate node. So S duplicate. And we have covered the duplicate node before, but not the shape duplicate, because we can't use the original duplicate node within our shapes. We can use it after the render if we wanted to, but within our shapes prior to the render, we cannot use the regular duplicate node. We need the S or the shape duplicate node. So we're going to input that. And our shape duplicate node is the same as our other duplicate node. We can, uh, create as many copies as we need to, and we can offset them. We can offset them on the Y. 
we can offset them to Z to give them some Z info. We can offset the scale on the X and the Y. And down here under our access mode, this is how we change how these duplicates react to our access. So let's go ahead and transform our original one. And uh, actually, let's cover this first. Let's jump down and we're gonna jump all the way down to duplicate along path. We're gonna check that. And I'm just going to make a little path for our little uh, duplicates to follow. And uh, I'm gonna go select everything and uh, round off our curves there. So now our duplicates are following this path. And within this path, we can change our path mode to scaled, absolute, or to actual points along the path. And we can change our duplicate scale. And we can change the offset. So up here for our access mode, let's go ahead and get some uh, animation first. So I'm going to go on our original little uh, transform here and I'm going to keyframe the rotation. I'm going to go to the end and give it just a little tiny bit of rotation. So it's slowly rotating and we're going to go to our duplicate node and I'm going to add some rotation here. I'm going to go to the Z, go to the end and I'm going to rotate that quite a bit. So one, you notice this is cumulative. So you notice our first one is rotating slowly. Our next one a little faster, 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 faster till we get all the way to the end. And our last shape is rotating very fast. So all this rotation in this information is cumulative. Now under our access mode, if I leave it on origin relative, it's going to be relative to our origin. I can change it to absolute, which is pretty much going to be the same as our origin. And we can change our uh, location here on our pivot. So we can animate that. So it pivots crazy. Or origin relative, we do not have that pivot information origin absolute. So it's going to keep our original one and uh, rotate around that absolute location or progressive, which means it's going to progressively rotate and go extremely out of your uh, shot. So let's leave that on absolute and let's bring our scale down a little bit so we can get that tighter. Let's bring our offset back in. So we're back in our little line. Let's change our displacement to separate it up. So then we could go to the beginning and uh, keyframe our uh, displacement here. So we can start way at the top, keyframe it, go to the very end and bring them out. So now we've got our little shapes moving along the path using the duplicate node. Excuse me, the shape duplicate node. So that's the shape duplicate node. I will see you in the next no breakdown.